Yeah. Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. This morning I want to talk with you about the California Achievement Test and testing our homeschool babies. So first I want to share with you um, academic excellence. I think this is a great company. Um, I was so pleased with the package results, the whole process, um, and I'll talk more about it. So when you give your child the test, they're going to send you this email and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. So this is going to be, um, this was Sam's, he's in grade five. Now I chose, as you see, the not timed one because first this was our first go at um, me giving the kids their own test. For years, I had taken them to a testing center because I was so afraid that someone would accuse me of like inflating their score somehow. And I know that that is the craziest thing, but y'all know me, I'm gonna be completely upfront and honest with y'all. And that was one thing I never wanted to happen when they were younger. I didn't want people to go, um, so you're telling me that your child is scoring like an old man on a Woodcock Johnson and he's, and I'm like, okay, you know, I, I can't deal with that kind of stress. I got too much stress. I can't deal with somebody questioning my, me. But the problem is, is, why did I even go through that stage of my life? I mean, it's so sad. Like I have integrity. I know what the, you know, how to give a test. I have a master's degree in special education and I gave tests as part of a class and I had to do the one, I actually had to give the Woodcock Johnson record myself. I mean, it's absolutely insane the way that we as parents sometimes can worry so much about the world when let's just do our thing. So this is me doing our thing this year. And we took it back in March. Um, it was on a Friday afternoon. I will never forget it. It was the week before spring break. So I didn't even tell the kids we were going to do it. I just called them uh, on my way home from work and I said, guys, get ready because later I think we're just going to go ahead and take our school test, but there's no big deal about it, no pressure, you know, we got this. And that worked out so much better because I didn't like pump it up and say, oh, we're testing this date, this date, this is the testing date. Um, I see what that does to kids in the schools and I didn't want that to happen to my kids. And all the times before when I would do it, I would have to have a scheduled time because I would be going to a testing center. So we would know months in advance. Um, this year, I was, just, I was like, nope, I'm going to just do this this wacky way. And I'm going to tell you guys it worked. And not only did it work, it was amazing because one, my kids got to take their tests in their pajamas. Two, it wasn't something that was timed. And three, they got to do it in the comfort of their own home. So let me show you guys what ended up happening with Sam. Now, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, especially my videos like when Sam was younger, um, you've heard me share the story of my baby. So when you see these scores, you'll say, wow, look at that. But guys, I'm telling you now, that's a lot of mama work and baby work. <laughs> um, so if you see these scores, here is our weaker area, right here, and right here, big time. And look at that, that's, that's the weakest area we've got. But with compared with him being in the fifth grade, I felt so pleased with the overall scores. We. Um, talked about his grade equivalencies from last year, and he rose significantly from the year before. Um, and I'll tell you some ways that I know that contributed to that, but um, this right here gives me the plan of attack, and I say, okay, if I know that we're um, not on ninth grade level on these, then what can we do to up these skills. So I've already come up with that. And I'll share his um, his new agenda with you shortly. Um, 
But what I also love, okay, guys, is if you click this, it's going to bring you to this, which I just really believe that academic excellence for $25 and for um, I had a $5 off coupon that I got because I followed them on Facebook, I think. I, I saw it in one of the Facebook groups that I was belonging to for homeschool. And um, they, get, they gave away a $5 off code. And I actually paid $20 for this test. So um, that was for this year's price. I'm telling you guys, you really need to check this out. Look how professional. And it really breaks it down. And my kids loved the visuals. Samuel really loved to see that this is where his grade level is, and this was him. I actually emailed him his own score report so he could keep it for his records. Um, I had to print it off because they don't hold the scores up to one year. So, you know, we got to have them up to a year, but I need them for on a yearly basis to document their progress and growth um, and to progress, uh, monitor my curriculum. So I definitely, you know, encourage you to not just keep a digital copy, but to print it as well. Um, the, I also have PDF versions of these. Um, but it's just, if you see here, you know, we know how to read those percentile rankings. Like um, he scored 95, 97% in the language compared to um, students in his grade level. He scored 99% um, higher. Um, I'm just wanting to show you. So these are those stay nine scores. And if you go online and you try to look um, at some of the samples, this is going to change colors for you. And this is very valuable data when you are trying to determine what your next steps for um, your homeschool planning. And it's a great goal marker for you and your child. So as you can see, I've already marked my goal marker. So right here. The lighter green, we definitely got to work more in our language usage and structure. And with Sam, honestly, I didn't do any. Now, with Solomon, I did because he had the SAT. But with Sam in fifth grade, I did not focus on that. This year, we really honed in on double work and spelling, um, which I told you before, um, spelling was one of his areas of weakness. And check it out. So double working on the spelling really paid off. However, I let the grammar and the mechanics go. Um, and we suffered for that. Well, not suffered. I mean, he still did well, but um, he didn't score as high in that area. And I know why. Um, so I just wanted you to see how amazing this is. This here lets me know which ones that I really need to focus more on. And there you go. There's your report for academic excellence. And I use Sam's as an example. I could show you Solomon's as well. Um, if you want to see what a high school one would look like, just let me know and I can make a new video. But um, with Solomon's, it will max out. Whereas like with the um, Woodcock Johnson, he was scoring, you know, adult ranges because that one is um, higher um, population. But this is a national norm test, the CAT, and it is listed as one of the um, testing, um, test that is recommended for North Carolina. I mean, you can choose the Iowa, you can choose the CAT, the Woodcock Johnson. Um, there's a list that they um, put up on the North Carolina Homeschool website. But between this one and the Woodcock Johnson, I'm going to admit that I like the ease of the CAT. I like the score reporting. Um, I liked the academic excellence. Um, company. Um, we had a problem with Solomon's. One of his scores didn't show up and we called them and they fixed it immediately um, and sent me an email within 10 minutes of the new report. So I would really suggest you look into this program, um, this online testing um, center. I think it's great. 
I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll send out more videos soon.